What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video and we're actually going to be changing the oil on the newest addition to the channel, our 2021 Highlander. Now this is the V6 version, so if you have a hybrid, your oil change will be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the video. All right guys, so like I said before, this is the V6 model. Um, now with this model, it's a cartridge style filter instead of a spin on filter. And our oil is a little bit different. Um, so we're using 0W20 for the V6 model. I believe the hybrid model is like the 0W16. It's the hybrid model oil, so it's a little different. Um, so let's walk over here and we'll check out the tools that we're actually gonna use for this project. Um, so. First and foremost, like I said, this is a cartridge style filter. So it looks like this rather than your normal spin on filter. Um, here is the part number for it. Um, I'm actually using an OEM filter just because honestly, the price is not that bad at all. I can actually pop that up down in the corner right here right now, what I paid for these. Um, and one good thing is where you're actually having to change the O-rings and stuff right here. You know, it's the same ones that came from factory with sometimes the aftermarket filters o-rings might be you know they could be better or they could be worse but where our car is a brand new car i just want to make sure i use the toyota stuff in case there's any warranty issue i can show hey i've been using your parts so like i said before it comes with both o-rings that you'll need obviously it's got the cartridge and then of course you've got your crush washer for your uh, oil drain plug right here so you'll go ahead and be able to replace that as well. Um, and then this is the piece that you'll actually pop up into the cartridge to let it drain out. Some other tools that you'll need, you'll need this tool, which is actually meant to take the um, cartridge style filters off. Um, Cause like the housing itself is actually built in, um, kind of like built into the car, I guess you could say. Um, and then this filter just slides in where the screw on, you're replacing the whole filter and the housing and everything. Um, now this one, as you guys can tell, I'll actually put a link below for this one. Um, I got it straight off Amazon. I went to the Toyota dealership, to, to the parts guy. They actually will not sell theirs anymore because theirs have ears on them. And the ears that are on their style tool will actually break uh, the housing because it, your housing is a plastic housing. Um, another part that you guys can buy, which I wish I would've done, I didn't know about this till after I left, is you can actually buy a metal housing now um, to replace the plastic one that comes on the car. So that's something you guys can talk to your dealership about if you go um, to get these uh, filters. You can actually talk about that metal housing as well and trying to get it. Um, so the oil that we're gonna be using today, I'm a big fan of Mobile One. We've always used Mobile One on our Toyotas and when I worked at Toyota, it's been a couple years ago, they would use Mobile One there um, so this is what we're going to use and you'll also need either a flathead screwdriver or if you have these plastic interior tools they work great um, because we actually have to take off the shield underneath the front right here um, and it'll have some of those plastic push pins also when we're taking that off you'll be using a 10 millimeter i think there's two 10 millimeter bolts underneath there and then you'll need a 14 millimeter for your oil drain plug and you might want to get an extension because i believe that the 10 millimeters are kind of up in um, that bottom cover so let's go ahead and we'll get underneath the car um, obviously you will need a drain pan too um, we'll go ahead we'll jack up the car give us room to get underneath it we'll head underneath all right so now we are under the car and first off you can go ahead and drain the oil right here um, but it's right here next to this bottom shield. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off so we don't get a bunch of oil on it. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you've got a 10 millimeter here and another one right up through here. This is where you'll need your extension at. And then there is, I believe, three push pins. So you've got one here, one here, and then one right back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all those off. all right so now that we've got that panel off 
as you guys can see we can get to the cartridge filter right here and we can get and we can drain our oil right here uh, one thing that i did miss is there's actually another pin right here that actually holds this shield to the other one um, that push pin looks slightly different a little bit longer um, so make sure you get that one as well so now i'm going to go up here get my drain pan and we'll start draining the oil and this bolt will be a 14 millimeter so we'll jump back into the time lapse we'll let this i'll break it loose let it drain out and then we'll go ahead and get our cartridge so we're while we're letting that last little bit drain out um i'll go ahead and explain this so this is the top um, cover right here. So this, you'll actually use your ratchet and it'll go right in. This is my extension, but your ratchet will go right in and that's how you're gonna loosen it up. So you'll break this loose. Once you break it loose, there'll be a little bit of oil coming out, um, but then you'll push that plastic piece that I showed you up in there and that'll let all the oil drain down into your oil pan. So we'll go ahead and get started on this once all this stops draining. All right, so now that we've got our Dream plug tightened and reinstalled. Let's go ahead and we'll take out our centerpiece in the cartridge right here. So we'll take our 3 8 drive and just pop it in with an extension. And you'll actually want to take your hand right here and kind of hold the housing itself because if not, the whole thing will kind of turn. So as you guys can see, it's loose, wasn't super tight. Now this is one thing that you can do two different ways. Some people will just take the whole, the whole piece off, just like you would a spin-off filter, and then just kind of dump their cartridge in, you know, their oil, and dump everything out. Um, this is the way that Toyota wants you to do it. So I'll show this way, and then maybe the next time we change the oil, I'll show you guys the other way. Um, so let's pull our pan over, and you're just going to unscrew this center part right here. And there'll probably be a little bit of oil come out. We'll see. So as you guys can see, a little bit of oil came out. And don't let this piece drop in because you are going to reuse it. So we'll just sit it to the side over here. So now we're going to take our little plastic piece and you're going to push it right up in the center. And once you get it up in there, that's what's gonna let the oil start draining out. So we'll let this drain out and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, so now that that's pretty much done draining, you can go ahead and grab and pull this out. It's kind of a pain. Cause it's all it's a little slippery, but you can kind of just pull to one side and get it out. Just like that. Now we're gonna take that tool that we got from Amazon that I've shown you guys about. And again, I'll pop the link down below. That way you guys can get one too. So it's right here, just fits right around it. And then you put your ratchet to it. I'm trying to see if it's gonna stay or not while I grab my ratchet. And the end on it is a half, so I'm gonna have to go get my half inch ratchet instead. All right, so I got my half inch breaker bar here, and we're just gonna take, and just loosen it up. And then once it gets so loose, you should be able to do the rest of it by hand. Just like that. So as you guys can see, there's your old oil filter. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry the camera died in the middle of the last clip. But anyway, here's your old filter, as you guys can see right here. Here is the housing itself. Now this, you kind of want to make sure you get it good and clean. Um, just kind of clean it out. That way none of that old oil, or if there's any, you know, type of debris or anything in there, you're, you're getting it good and cleaned out. Um, and there'll always be, you know, like a good little bit of oil down on the bottom. Uh, and then obviously right here on the side, this is where your big O-ring is that you're going to have to take off and replace. 
All right, guys, so we took the old O-ring off and we got our housing all cleaned up. So now you're gonna go ahead and take your new O-rings and I've got a little bit of my new oil right here and I'm gonna just dab it on my finger and kind of go around this O-ring, the new one, just so that way it's you know lubed up a little bit. It'll make it obviously slide on the housing a little bit better and then it'll make the seal better once you know you put it back on the car. So we'll do that to both O-rings. Just like that. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to take the O-ring and go ahead and place it over the housing and slide it down. Just like this. And as you guys can see, it's right there. You don't take it all the way to the bottom. You put it one notch up from the bottom right here. Just like that. And then you're gonna take the smaller O-ring, which is this one, and you can actually just sit it right there like so. And then you're gonna take the first part that we take, took off of the housing and screw it in you can kind of just hand tighten it and then just make sure that your gasket's sealed good. You can kind of look through the sides right here. And then now we'll flip it back over and your filter, it doesn't matter which way it goes, you just slide it on. Just like so. And then a lot of people, what we'll do is we'll actually pour some of our new oil down in here and you're kind of priming this new filter in a way um, so the filter's not empty when you start the car. Like I said before, kind of prime our filter. I'm just gonna pour a little bit down here in the center. And as you guys can see, it's kind of draining down into it. Just like that. All right, so we're underneath the car now. And you also want to kind of wipe in here just to get all the old oil out. So we're just going to take, slide it right up on and start hand tightening it. All right, just like that, get it as tight as you can. My hands have a little bit of oil on it so I can't get it super tight. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our wrench, put it back underneath here, make sure our bottom part is tightened up. Just like this. And you wanna tighten this until the housing itself starts to turn. So, just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put our, I guess you could consider it a splash shield or the undercover of the car back on. So, make sure that you slide it underneath the plastic right here. It does not go on this side. It goes on that side, just like that. All right, so you get your cover going underneath the plastic, bolt here bolt right up in here you got your first push pin right here your second push pin there third push pin here and then you got your long the longer push pin right there that connects the two together so now we can let down the car and add our oil Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong all right, so now that we've got our oil in there, we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys how to reset your maintenance light really quick. So you're gonna go right here and you're gonna hit the button on. Go to the on position. And then you're gonna go down to your Let's see here. You're gonna go to the gear right here 
and you're just using your buttons over here and then you're going to go to all the way to the right and you'll see the car with the gear you'll hit the OK button and then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see it says scheduled maintenance you're going to hit the OK button to reset it and then you're just going to say yes and then now it says reset complete so now our maintenance lot for the oil is reset and now you can just turn your car back off all right guys so that's pretty much it for today's video um, i hope this will help you out with your highlanders and changing the oil with them this was actually the first time i had ever done a cartridge oil filter um, because my tc the corolla and then my parents car the tacoma and the forerunner all those just have the spin-off top um, in my opinion i kind of like the spin-off top because you can just get rid of the whole filter it's a lot easier you don't have to do a lot of that cleaning and there's kind of some extra steps to this but it's not a big deal you guys can do it um, i got full faith in you um, but anyway i hope you like this video if you would please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we are going to have more stuff coming for the new highlander um, you know some sequential turn signals different things like that some led upgrades um, and there's a lot more to come so please stay tuned for more highlander videos and i'll see y'all next time peace out and remember build your masterpiece hey i got something something to say i'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain i know it's tough and i know there's pain but hit